Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. Um, whatever the case may be. Today, I am continuing my uh, Kirby 64 adventure. And uh, it looks like we're going to start with a boss. Do you see what the problem is already? The problem is I don't have a power. Oh, actually, I do. Never mind. Um, but I'm very close to death, and yes, I fainted. I'm not going to say death, because that's very morbid, and this is a Kirby game. Um, so let's just say Kirby took a nap, okay? Um, so if I... Oh, I got firepower. Nice. Ouch, I can't hit the ceiling. Okay, I gotta remember that. I think I know what I have to do. Um, ooh, jeez. Wow. This is... You know what? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do it that way. I'm gonna try a different strategy. Yes! Okay, so that works. I was hoping that would work. Ooh, I don't think I hit it. Ouch. Ouch. That hurt. Oh, okay. I, you know what? I, I clearly, I need to study up on how this boss fight works because, uh, I need a strat. I need a strategy. Boom. There we go. Uh, let's see. Oh. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe at all. This is scary, guys. This is a scary boss fight. I don't... Oh, man. Ah, uh, yeah. I always, you know, I'm going to be honest, and, and this is just my opinion, but I don't... Boss fights are one of the things that I don't like in video games, you know, because I kind of hate the feeling of being uh, stuck. You know what I'm saying? And boss fights are usually, like, where I start to feel stuck. And it's like, you cannot advance unless you beat the boss. Um, but sometimes boss fights are really hard. So even this fight right now, I mean, I'm not going to say it's the easiest thing in the world. Um, so i got to figure out how to destroy this blob of magma uh can i shoot rocks at him i don't i don't think that worked unless i just didn't uh aim correctly i mean i'm open to that being a possibility because you know <laughs> my aim is probably not the best okay well it seems to me that i'm really gonna have to hunker down and avoid traps like that so anyway um while I'm trying my best on this, uh, boss, um, give me one second. I need to start out with some type of ability, or else I'm never going to be able to make it through. Um, hmm. Oh, that was crappy. Sorry. Uh, okay. So I just wanted to point out some amazing facts about Kirby. Uh, first and foremost, one thing I want you all to understand is I feel, I feel really old because, uh, Kirby is turning 30 years old. This is Kirby's, we are coming upon Kirby's 30th anniversary as a character, as a series, uh, and I gotta say, you know, I can, I can hardly believe it. And just imagine, you know, how old that makes me feel, you know? I feel old just just knowing that Kirby is turning 30. And this is coming from someone who has played the Kirby games almost religiously, you know? Uh, yeah, it's just amazing. Um, but you know, I'm happy. Um... For those who have never played Kirby games, these games are solid, okay? And they may seem, you know, childish and made for kids. And to be fair, 
I mean, sure, they are made for kids, but there's a lot of great aspects to these games, and one of the things I admire is just the simplicity. I've probably said it before, but simple is not always bad, you know? Simple is not always childish. It's, there's something of value here, you know? Um, so, anyway, you know, I'm a fully grown adult. I enjoy these games, okay? And I don't have to apologize for that. Um, because these games are good, you know? This game in particular is, I mean, come on, I'm, I'm going down memory lane with this game. And I, ooh, that hurt. I really enjoy playing it too. And I enjoy having the ability to kind of, you know, reminisce about the good times in my life, you know? Because when I played this game as a child, those were some of the greatest days in my life, you know? So, you know, playing this game, I think, brings it all back. Um, and I'm happy to do so. So yeah, Kirby is going to be celebrating the 30th anniversary. Um, look at how satisfied they look. Beautiful crystal. Uh-oh. What's happening? Ooh. That's dangerous. So here, here's something else that's pretty important to know. Um... I, I saw this first, I think, on Facebook. Uh, apparently, there's going to be a live stream concert in J Japan. And it's going to be completely free. Like, you don't have to pay anything. Um, and if you live in the uh, eastern part of the U.S., I think it's going to be like at 5 a.m., to be honest, I don't, I don't care much, you know, the time is what it is, uh, obviously, if it's gonna be in Japan, uh, yeah, it's gonna be many, many hours ahead, so it'll probably be, I don't know, my guess would be, like, late evening Japan, um, while in the eastern U.S., it'll be 5 a.m., but I wouldn't mind waking up at 5 a.m. to watch a live-streamed concert of, uh, musicians play in Kirby music, and I just think, I think that's kind of cool, you know, because I think music is one of the most important aspects that a video game has, you know, music is incredibly important, and, and not just for, you know, oh, it sounds good, but also for, like, setting the mood of the game, and you can find some of the best music, uh, in this game itself. In fact, we've already heard a few of my favorite tracks already, and we're about to come upon another one pretty soon here. Um, once we get to the factory level, I don't know if it'll be this episode or not, but one of my favorite tunes is in the factory level. Um, but music is a huge part of what makes this game series great. So, they're going to have a live stream, uh, August 11th. That's a while from now, so I hope I remember, but, uh, trust me when I say, you know, I want to see it. Um, and then I went to the website to check it out, and, you know, there's an event website for the, for the live stream. Um, and that's also when I discovered something else. I don't know if any of you knew this, but there is an actual Kirby Cafe in Japan. I think there's two locations. One of them is in Tokyo. There's a Kirby Cafe, and it's not, you know, it's not just something I'm making up. Like, there's a website for it. And let me tell you something. Like, if I, if I were in Japan right now, if I were in Tokyo specifically, I would go to that Kirby Cafe. I, uh, I saw some of the food there, and it just looked really good, and the dishes look <laughs> really creative. So, um, 
yeah, if you if you if you happen to be in Japan, I don't know exactly where in Japan, but if you happen to be in Japan, check out the Kirby Cafe. <laughs> and yes, it's a it's a real thing. I'm not making it up. I'll uh I, I'll have to show you the website. Uh, but yeah, um. It's just one of the things, I think, that makes Japan very unique. I mean, where else are you going to find, like, a cafe based on uh, a video game character? Like, how does that happen, you know? Um, but I think it's just, I think it's just the best thing ever, you know? And again, it's what makes Japan very unique, you know? Like, a Kirby cafe... I'd love to see something like that here in the States, and trust me, I would be a visitor, um, but it's something that, you know, probably would never, never happen, you know. I suspect there would be some, you know, licensing issues, and, uh, you know, since Nintendo is based in Japan, um, obviously it's a lot easier to make, uh, you know, Kirby cafes, but I just thought it was the most entertaining thing I saw today. Uh, so anyway, we are very close to the 30th uh, anniversary of this series, and it's been a very good series. I, I for sure have enjoyed a lot of games. Um, I feel like Kirby 64 is one of the better ones out there, but of course, you know, we've, we've, merely scratched the surface um kirby air ride is another game that i think would be cool to play um and i do have the good old uh gamecube i have a gamecube but recording it is going to be uh the challenge uh I'd have to figure out how exactly to do that. Um, because the thing about the GameCube is I I would somehow need HDMI and I don't I don't really know how to make that work unless unless there's a way and they probably make this, but if there's a way to sort of uh, do a conversion from composite to HDMI I could see myself recording GameCube games, and that just, uh, that opens up a whole new level, you know. There's a lot of great games out there for the GameCube, um, so that would definitely be an option. I just have to figure out, uh, how to do that. And that creature can jump pretty high. I'm gonna have to fly higher. <laughs> um, so anyway... Uh, all those things have been on my mind, and I really think that uh, Nintendo is going to show some real, you know, some real love to uh, the Kirby series. Um, and truth is, you know, I think it was Mario who had a 35th anniversary. Um, and the issue is they didn't really do the anniversary much justice they released like a mario game collection that contained three uh good mario games i haven't actually played two of them which uh is surprising but i've never played galaxy and i've never played uh super mario sunshine so i'll have to get on those eventually and perhaps uh Perhaps I'll record them, too. Um, I have the collection on the Switch. But then, you know, they made this great Mario game to celebrate the anniversary. And it was like, you go through the classic Mario levels, but it was like a battle royale situation. Um, and, you know, you could get power-ups, and it was like um, 99, I think people competing at the same time to see who lasts the longest and it was such a fun game and it was such a great concept 
Problem is, they didn't keep it. Like, they got rid of it. It was just a limited time thing. And it... It, it seemed so arbitrary that they got rid of it. And to this day, I'm scratching my head because... Man, I don't... I don't understand it. I don't understand why they got rid of it. Um, but either way, let me get some stars, let me get some health. Can I, can I not control where I go? <laughs> I feel like I can't control where they're shooting me, or can I, can I at least, uh, get out of this? Uh, maybe not. Ah, uh, okay. I, I understand now. I understand. Ooh, I got the crystal. Yes. That's exactly what I needed. Um, so far I've been, I've been liking the levels. I'm actually curious about something though. Let me try something real quick, because I am curious to see what exactly would happen uh, if we combined the... Oh, okay. <laughs> I gotta say, that's... That's pretty cool. That's not a power that I know very well. You wouldn't think that two powers like that would combine at all, honestly, but it works. Ooh, dangerous, 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 dangerous. Oops. Oh, I can't, okay, there we go. I'm just gonna try to avoid a lot of the danger here, um, because yeah. There we go. Mmm, I don't like these things. They're very two-faced. I can't actually get out of the... Oh, there we go. Boom. Hmm, <laughs> it's kind of funny. I mean, I dig it. I like the power. But it's very, uh... It's very stop and start, you know? Alright. I think we may have reached close to the end. Let's see here. I wonder what we're gonna face. Look at me go. I'm just, you know, an average everyday snowman. Nothing to see here. Just ignore the, uh, you know, the fire coming out of my head. That's, that's completely normal. All snowmen are like that. Yep, nothing suspicious here. I'm just a average, everyday Kirby. Doing the best I can. Oh, those things really... Am I gonna fall for literally every single trap? <laughs> Seems that way. Also, I don't know if you could hear my phone go off, but I should learn by now to turn my phone off every time I record. So I'll probably have to do some post-production and remove it. it. Gets annoying. Sometimes I wish that I just didn't have a phone because a lot of times I get so many I get so many useless notifications so much junk email or you know just just things I don't need um anyway all right everyone this is a good point for me to stop I'm getting kind of hungry uh I hope you all have enjoyed this video. I know that I have, and I will come back with more Kirby. And uh, with any luck, we'll try to finish this game. Um, 
So until then, have a good day, take care, and I hope you're doing well. Goodbye.